Uh, welcome to a new video and a new camera review the Honor Magic 5 Pro versus the Xiaomi 13 Pro. So let's get started. And we are here at this beautiful lake here that you can see here in Cologne. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about the camera specs first. So here we have the Honor Magic 5 Pro and the Xiaomi 13 Pro, both featuring a triple 50 megapixel setup with the highlight, the almost one inch size sensor on the Honor Magic 5 Pro and the one inch size sensor on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. They both feature a telezoom lens, 3.2 times and 3.5 times zoom. The Xiaomi ha also has uh, macro capabilities with this telephoto lens. And then we have the ultra wide angle as well. Uh, on both of them. Then on the front we have a very poorly put almost like lifting up screen protector on the Honor but nevertheless we have uh, 12 megapixels on the Honor and we have 32 megapixels on the Xiaomi and I think we start up with those first. So here we have the Xiaomi 13 Pro's front-facing camera, full HD, 30 frames per second only, and as you can see here, there are a little bit overblown highlights, uh, but it's nicely exposing on my face. So what do you think about this one here? Oops, <laughs> this was like a hole there on the ground, so not so good for stabilization tests. What do you think about uh, this video here on the Xiaomi 13 Pro? And now the Honor Magic 5 Pro. As you can see here, better HDR because we see some blue in the sky and this is exactly what I also see here with my own eyes. We have a wider field of view because we have the possibility, yeah, we have a wide angle of view here, 100 degrees uh, view, 0 0.7 times magnification. I can also go to 0 0.8 times, which looks like this, a little bit cropped in, and then one times, which looks similar probably with the one on the Xiaomi. Maybe it's something in between this and the 0 0.8 times. What do you think? about this one here. The good thing about the Honor Magic 5 Pro is that we have also 4K recording. 4K 30 it can record but with a time limit 15 minutes only. So what do you think about this one here also in terms of stabilization colors and so on. And now the highlight of the Xiaomi 13 Pro, the one inch type sensor that we have here that gives us a nice creamy background blur and uh, yeah as you can see here, stabilization is fine, HDR is way better than on the front-facing camera and the whole image looks very, very good. What I can do as well is go to the ultra-wide angle, maybe I turn around and show you the beautiful lake that I'm here uh, with and uh, just zoom out here to the ultra-wide angle during recording of 4K30, no issue at all. So this is the ultra-wide angle, how is stabilization, how are colors here, I think it's pretty nice, isn't it? and uh, also a nice scenery here as well. So what we want to do is now zoom in on something. So I see a person there feeding some swans in the background. So let's zoom in slowly, one times, two, three, and I think it's switch lenses now at 3.2 times, and there you can see the people going away, but still go and see the swans. I can zoom up, up to 15 times, as you can see here, this is the maximum I can reach here with a Xiaomi 13 Pro. Now with the Honor Magic 5 Pro, I can only go up to 10 times zoom. There's no other possibility when I'm recording 4K 30. But you can see the swans uh, and uh, some ducks, I think, there as well. And I have buttons to switch to, so I can go to 4 times zoom, uh, 1 times zoom. And then I can show you uh, myself again here. How's the bokeh here on this almost one inch size sensor. We have a little bit larger aperture here, f1.6 as far as I'm aware. So it's a bit larger than the f1.9 that we have on the one inch on the bigger sensor. So we should get very roughly the same kind of bokeh here, maybe a little bit more on the Honor Magic 5 Pro. What do you think about the Honor Magic 5 Pro for vlogging with the main camera? Some, something that yeah, probably not only I will do here, is it? Anyway, I can show you the lake again in its full glory with the ultra wide angle. So let's check this out. I have a button for this and it's slowly zooming out to the ultra wide angle. What do you think about the ultra wide angle here in terms of colors, in terms of stabilization and so on? And what do you think about this beautiful scenery? So I will take some pictures as well with both of them and the, uh, yeah, we take a look at the pictures now. So let's check them out. Here are the photos on the left, always the Xiaomi 13 Pro, on the right, always the Magic 5 Pro. We start off with macro photography. The Xiaomi 13 Pro is the winner of macro photography. And you can see it here clearly, can you? 
uh, it is utilizing the telezoom camera for its macro capabilities so we have the nice shallow depth of field and we have lots and lots of details as you can see here the magic 5 pro however is not so far off with its ultra wide angle the bokeh is a bit less good and the details is a little less there but you can get a bit closer for sure with the magic 5 pro and yeah you can see it's very comparable especially if you zoom out a little bit and have them at 100 percent view only you can see that this is very comparable when it comes to fast moving subjects like my new puppy here uh, the xiaomi 13 pro sometimes struggles even though it has a very fast shutter after all the updates that i got uh, sometimes you get like a bit of blurry shots especially when you're using the zoom lens like i used here the 3.2 times probably at 3.2 times and you can see here i used the 10 times zoom on the magic 5 pro and used the actually yeah i used the 10 times zoom on the magic 5 pro it sometimes has like a little bit more details even than the Xiaomi, which is very interesting. When it comes to shallow depth of field and the main sensors, we see a little bit of a difference. We have a bit of more contrasty look on the Xiaomi 13 Pro using Leica Vibrant here in this case, uh, though only on the leaves, as you can see here, which has a little bit more like contrast, a bit raised here. But the rest here, especially the background, you can see how much more shadows there are and how less shadows there are, more maybe details on the, Magic, on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Why is this the case, someone would ask. Uh, if you really look closely, you will see that the Magic 5 Pro has a bit more bokeh. How is it possible the Xiaomi 13 Pro has the larger sensor, but the Magic 5 Pro has the way larger aperture and a very comparable sensor uh, to the Xiaomi 13 Pro. This is also resulting in when you look at the detail levels here the Xiaomi 13 Pro looking a bit more detailed a little bit more sharper you can see here the spider net eventually on the side here which is like slightly only on the Magic 5 Pro because it's blurring it out already and the same goes for the leaf here you can see this leaf is much sharper than this leaf here because it's like out of focus already on the Magic 5 Pro because of its shallow depth of field that it has. And the rest here looks a little bit more detailed on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. When we come to um, another macro shot possibility that we can see here, the Xiaomi 13 Pro using its tele macro camera, this little bug at the, at the lake, I just had to photograph it. <laughs> As you can see, um, so much detail, it's very, very nice. The Magic 5 Pro on first glance also looks nice. This more yellow, uh, yellowish for some reason, this uh, more depth. Uh, on the Magic 5 Pro more contrast as well but with the ultra wide angle you can see less of the details but the interesting thing is the Magic 5 Pro can keep up not so much with three and a half times um, zoom camera it doesn't have tele macro capabilities but it can focus relatively close and then you get a very comparable shot to the 13 Pro and when I zoom in you can see yes the 13 Pro still has a bit more this punchiness and this sharpness but the Magic 5 Pro is not so far off. It's very close actually uh, with the details here with its telecamera, uh, which is very impressive, I would say. When it comes to the three and a half times zoom on the Magic 5 Pro versus the Xiaomi 13 Pro's 3.2 times zoom, I think the Magic 5 Pro is winning here slightly. You can see a little bit of too much chromatic aberrations on the Xiaomi 13 Pro, too artificial here. Also, the colors are a bit wrong, a bit bluish because this. A little duck was, uh, is it a duck or what, what, what bird is, this little bird <laughs> was had black kind of feathers as you can see here the Magic 5 Pro is rendering it correctly. And then this is a duck definitely, uh, this duck at 10 times zoom. So what we can see here it looks to be, it appears to be more detailed on the Xiaomi 13 Pro especially with the feathers and so on. Um, but when you then zoom in what you can see is lots and lots of noise color noise and such things that yeah make it appear to be sharper when you zoom out a little bit on the magic 5 pro everything is a lot smoother here as you can see here it is also has also details there it doesn't have this color noise that you can see like this bluish kind of pixels everywhere here um, and it's also i think quite detailed detailed so i think i like the magic 5 pro uh, a little bit better here in terms of the detail levels especially when you crop in otherwise if you don't crop in then maybe the xiaomi 13 pro is winning here another shot at uh, uh, three and a half times uh, zoom which is very interesting we can see three and a half versus 3.2 times zoom that the xiaomi 13 pro is again a bit softer and this is like a vibrant it's not like a authentic where it keeps it a bit softer 
Um, the Magic 5 Pro is just simply sharper here in this regard. Look at the feathers here. Is it called feathers? I think it's called feathers also on this one. A um, lot sharper there. And uh, this is now a 10 times zoom. And here, of course, the whole thing is just exaggerated. As you can see here, lots and lots more details on the Magic 5 Pro. The Magic 5 Pro at 10 times is just simply winning and superior to the uh, Xiaomi 13 Pro. And you can see it here as well from the front how much sharper this face of this uh, swan is in comparison to the very soft Xiaomi 13 Pro. Both when you zoom out look okayish, but uh, when you look close, the Magic 5 Pro is winning here. Ultra wide angle, a bit more contrasty kind of look. I think a bit of warmer kind of look as well. Look at the beach here, a lot colder on the Xiaomi 13 Pro, a lot warmer on the Magic 5 Pro. The Magic 5 Pro is a bit exaggerating it, and the Xiaomi 13 Pro is a little bit like, yeah, making it a bit gloomier than it actually was, because it was actually a better day there. So it is a bit more yellowish, so it's something in between. The Magic 5 Pro I prefer here, because yeah, if you have to choose, I think I would prefer this one here. Also, it made the sky looking more dramatic than the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Uh, which uh, is pretty interesting when it comes to colors and so on and detail levels I think very comparable also when it comes to like the because it's ultra wide angle towards the sides you can see maybe a slightly bit sharp on the Xiaomi 13 Pro but the Xiaomi 13 Pro has only 14 millimeters where the Magic 5 Pro is a bit wider with uh, f uh, 13 millimeters you can see it here clearly this is the one tree that we have here so we have a slightly bit of wider uh, angle of view and you have a bit more contrast definitely on the magic 5 pro that gives it a bit more depth also here in this shot which is i think preferable on the magic 5 pro selfies i also prefer the magic 5 pro here with a portrait mode just because it handles the sky a bit better and gets you like the better feeling of how the how the world looked like there but you can see like the, the, the sand here is now more realistic, this warmth here, and the Xiaomi 13 Pro is warming everything up. It tries to always warm up the face a bit, and it's warming everything up. You can see a bit of noise already because 32 megapixels, and it's taking really 32 megapixel shot. Magic 5 Pro leaves it at 12 megapixels because it only has 12 megapixels. It's sharpening thing, things up a lot here. You can see also some noise, which is like probably noise coming from the sharpening. And both fail a little bit with the cutouts here. So both basically on power when it comes to the cutouts. But because of the better HDR and I think the face looks a bit more natural than this warmer kind of face. I usually like the warmer kinds of faces. But um, yeah, in this case, I think overall the Magic 5 Pro is winning for me. And here you can see a very comparable shot, I would say, where we have more depth of field on the Magic 5 Pro. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, basically, I was standing at the same position here. The thing is like we have 27 millimeters on the Magic 5 Pro, so it's cropping in already a bit, where here we have 23 millimeters. This is why you can see the difference in terms of like, uh, um, yeah, maybe also field of view a bit. But I was standing literally at the same position, just hold the phones in my hands and take the first shot with the Magic 5 Pro or Xiaomi 13 Pro, I don't know anymore. And this is what I get. And what you can see is more depth uh, on the Magic 5 Pro. It's like more kind of the feeling of a blurry background. And you can see it here, how much blurrier the background is on the Magic 5 Pro, how much more outstanding this little uh, leaves and this little tree or bush is in comparison to the Xiaomi 13 Pro which uh, leaves everything a little bit more in focus. I noticed this already on the Magic 5 Pro when I was comparing it with the Oppo Find X6 Pro which also has a large one inch size sensor and a bit of larger aperture than the Xiaomi 13 Pro that we have a bit of more shallow depth of field just simply because of the very large aperture on a very large sensor even though the sensor size on the Xiaomi 13 Pro is larger so this is very interesting indeed. Nighttime shots, night Time shots the Xiaomi 13 Pro here I kept the um, Leica authentic this time uh, just because I wanted to see a bit of more an authentic kind of look what we can see here on the Magic 5 Pro is the yellow greenish kind of tint for sure raising the shadows where the Xiaomi 13 Pro has a more violet kind of uh, yeah, tint eventually and leaving the shadows as they are, as you can see here, this is very extreme where all the shadows are gone here on the Magic 5 Pro and here we still have shadows on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. So more realistic kind of photo definitely on the 13 Pro. The Magic 5 Pro, a bit moisier, raising the shadows. You can see a little bit more of details here, especially here that there are bikes, they cannot see it on the 13 Pro. 
and also less noise here and a uh, little bit more details here also in this region here where everything is dark and here you can see still something at least and uh, yeah i think the magic 5 pro is winning here with its automatic modes automatic night mode so it's not the dedicated night mode also not on the xiaomi 13 pro and when we come to zoom shots three and a half times zoom shot against uh, 3.2 times zoom shot and another 3.2 times zoom shot this is with leica vibrant and this is with leica authentic i like the leica authentic look on the xiaomi 13 pro a lot better though you can see already when i go into the leica uh, vibrant look we have here the exposure on this little uh, advertisement uh, a li little bit better we can see the bluish here uh, color in the background um, we can read a bit more we have more smoothening and more yeah, magic on the Magic 5 Pro. So some more algorithms that are working there on optimizing the text. You can read the Stadt Köln a little bit better than on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. When compare it to the Leica Authentic, which gives a better look of the sky color for sure, you can see it's overblown um, because less of an HDR-ish kind of look. When we zoom in even further, you can see very interestingly enough, now the Xiaomi 13 Pro with its 10 times zoom is doing a better job also with exposure here, even though it was exposing on this only and the rest is very dark. Here we have like an overexposure and the rest is like a little bit visible. But the Magic 5 Pro can redeem itself if you go into the dedicated night mode on the Magic 5 Pro, then, oops, on the Magic 5 Pro, then you can get this kind of shot where you have the brightness of the background of the street but you also have a more detailed and sharper kind of look here of the um, of the photo itself on, on the advertisement board here and when it comes to the ultra wide angle i like the xiaomi 13 pros uh, especially like our authentic the, the very night kind of look here on the xiaomi 13 pro with the dark sky and not this like brightened up magic 5 pro already on first glance and if i zoom in you can clearly see why because it's very noisy as heck on the Magic 5 Pro. So here, even though it is trying to brighten things up, you can read a little bit more here. Uh, actually, this time the car was passing by, I can read probably more there. But I think on the ultra wide angle, the Xiaomi 13 Pro in night mode is winning against the Magic 5 Pro in this particular shot, because the Magic 5 Pro tends to brighten things up a lot, which uh, the Xiaomi 13 Pro, especially when you're using like an authentic keeps it down and more realistic so what are you your thoughts about those shots let's go back to one little selfie test it was eliminating with the screen and what we can see here is very comparable but notice that the yellow street lights are really yellow here especially also the other lights look yellow and from the on the xiaomi 13 pro it just made them whiter for some reason so no i don't know why but this is like a little bit unrealistic there even though the night sky I like better on the Xiaomi 13 Pro, uh, detail levels here, 32 megapixels uh, with the algorithms, 12 megapixels, Magic 5 Pro is just doing a better job. Just like in daylight, the Magic 5 Pro is winning in this um, competition here. In overall, I think the Magic 5 Pro is the clear winner here. What is your thought? Uh, Xiaomi 13 Pro versus Magic 5 Pro, which one did you like best? So this is a night mode test with the Xiaomi 13 Pro. It has a night video mode where it can record 4K 24 frames per second up to five minutes in this special night mode where it's lifting up definitely the shadows, uh, removing the noise and hopefully, hopefully focusing nicely on my face using the one inch size sensor. Every other sensor doesn't make sense in this nighttime situation to use it even. So this is, I think you can even not, not use any other sensor here. So what do you think about the quality here? By the way, I'm using the internal mics on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. What do you think about them? So this is now the Honor Magic 5 Pro and it's night video mode. Sadly, it can only do 1080p 24 frames per second and also limited to five minutes. I'm next to a busy street. How good is the internal uh, microphone uh, or the in how good are the internal microphones in filtering out noises here that are around me? I hope it's working fine. What do you think about the quality here of the Honor Magic 5 Pro and it's night video mode? 
So which one is the clear winner for you? The Honor is my personal preference here because we have the better complete camera package with a front-facing camera that can also shoot 4K and I think better selfies as well. What do you think? When it comes to the tele macro capabilities of the Xiaomi 13 Pro, I really like it over the Honor's ultra wide angle for macro or super macro shots. Though you can get away sometimes with the three and a half times zoom for yeah, getting macro like shots on the honor nevertheless i think still that the honor has an advantage here what do you think write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye